All right, all right. It's the Open Championship week. And uh, luckily for us, Trackman, I've gone and put Rolls and Georges up on there as simulators. So we're going to have a game. I played this golf course many years ago as an amateur. I have fun memories and dodgy memories of it. I know one thing, it is an absolute monster of fatigue. Can't miss the fairway. And if you do hit the fairway, you're still holding your breath, waiting for the ball to sap it. We shall see. I'm playing the back nine. Going to give it my best go. I'm going to be using a lot of three words off the tees to keep this ball in play and then uh, let the computer pat me out. Tor, uh, tor stater, tor stats, I believe it is. So, Rawls and Georges, it's a fantastic golf course because off the tee you can't see the fairways. It really gets you thinking. You've got to know exactly what line you're going to be taking. The guys this week will be practicing that a lot during the warm-ups. So, without any further ado, let's get beaten up. All right, go with the tee. Absolute must. Tenth hole, I'm playing the back nine, as I said. Tenth hole's measuring out at 4.04. Need a nice little 250-yard three-wood just to carry those bunkers and be safe and uh, probably leave myself all way. So, a little bit of breeze, nothing serious. Let's have a good game. Oh, that felt pretty decent. Go past that bunker. Look at the mounds. Just incredible. Alright, so we found the fairway. Leaving myself. 144 pin. Alright, I'm actually going to put my bag this side. A little bit easier to get to, get to it. So, 144 uphill, 3 mile an hour second win. This might just be a nice smooth eight on, I reckon. It's playing up 13 foot, so. Wonderful thing about Lynx Golf is if you can avoid bunkers to the left or right, you can always run them in, so. That's a pretty tight line against there, so let's start with maybe just a touch right. Let's just go to the center of the green, 141. Nice flight at eight on, I reckon. All right. Oh, needed a bit more, but it's on the green. Let the let's see what the computer says. Just give me a two, but nice opening hole, please. Could have really given that a rip. Two putt for path. Bang. Right, the eleventh is a, the the eleventh is the scariest part three you'll ever play. Two hundred and forty-two yards. Stroke index is the third. There's three, so it's just all the way down there. It is downhill, if I remember correct. Yeah, nine foot. This, this machine sending me three with, but I'm definitely not going three with. Again, no bunkers at the front. We're going to try and. Well, I reckon a nice rescue maybe for me. Three iron back in the day. Good three rescue. Anything over the back's not dead. And if anything short and right is in trouble, so let's get a nice solid rip. Oh, I felt like I hit that pretty good. Soft land, soft. Should go left. There you go. Still holding your breath. Don't go in the bunker. Still moving. Oh, off she goes. <laughs> that was a good shot as well. Well, I've come back to pin R. That'll be the tough. Po that'll be the tough pin if it's at the back and you come up short. The ball will just be rolling away from the from that back flag. Fifty foot putt. Two putt for par. We're winning. 12th, 380, par 4, dog leg right if my memory serves me well, again a nice positional tee shot, 240 to that carry point, so over that bunker, it's going to leave us a wedge 129 in, so yeah, 100% wood. Got to find the fairways at St. George's, got to find the fairways. A 
bit of wind off my left, so that's actually helping me there. I pick the target line. Uh. Oh, got lucky. Wasn't my best contact. Hit down a little bit. But I got away with it. <sighs> Sweating buckets. Face was square. Just a bit high off at that face. Oh, I actually left myself a perfect line. 135 with the wind. Again, this is a much. This is a birdie hole, I would suggest. I would say the, uh, the players this week will definitely be looking at getting this hole under the uh, under the thumb, really. 135, I'm going full wedge uh, with the wind down. Just got to hit a good one, really. Again, middle of the green. Go. Yeah, I'll take that all day long. Come on, give me a birdie, birdie, birdie. One under yet. Two putt for par. Boom. Oh, nice. Hole number 13. Long par four. I can't remember it too well. I think it's a dog leg left. Oh no, it's pretty straight. It's a dog leg left. Anyway, 259 into those bunkers. <sighs> what we got to do? Yeah, we got to get. Well, it's at least 300 to carry those three little pot bunkers. So you have a choice. You're either going to lay up into them with a three wood and have a bigger second. It's downwind as well, so we might well actually take the driver. And just get it down there. 307 to carry, so it should be alright. I might. I would say this is a high risk, but let's see what we can do. Thick stuff. Now we're in trouble. Got it out there though. Got too much curve on it. 109. Getting stronger. We got 166 coming out of the thick rough. Deep rough. We've got to be clever here. Yeah. Use a bit of the links course to our advantage. And play it to the front left portion. That's only 147. Good to go. Conventional seven arm. Let's get it past that bunker on the right, actually. So. Nice smooth swing and coming out of the rough. Obviously, this is not the same, but I try to. I actually try to feel like I'm thinning it a little bit. Don't want to take too much grass. It's not going to be this easy on the actual golf course, but let's give it the best rip we've had. Oh yeah, come on, bounce on. There you go. Oh, you'll sell that one on Sunday. That'll, that'll do. That'll do well. Good stuff. Okay, so we've hit all three, all four greens in regulation at the moment. Nothing really difficult about that. Lying on the putter. I would suggest a winning score this week will be no more than five under. And maybe between 500 and level par. So give me another two, but the famous, um, famous par five, all the way, all the way down the right, out of bounds. You've got Prince's Golf Course right across the road there. <coughs> Basically, hit the fairway or go left. We got 157 to that point. There's a little. Yeah, we're going three with definitely a three wood hole. 
Right. Yeah, down the left hand side, let's go. It's just a baby Peter. Take that. Oh, now just bounce softly and forward. Oh, take a little bounce left. Lovely, found another fairway. Now the decision, do we go for it? What oh, do we got left? Two pin, 285. The cool thing is you can kind of run it into the green, but you have to absolutely pump one. The wind is kind of against me. Definitely want to go through it again. I feel comfortable that I can send one out there and give myself an easy pitch. Carry those bunkers in the distance in the middle of the fairway, that'll be fun. Nice smooth. <laughs> oh, it's floating with the OB. Davis Love. Didn't hit the white post though. That is an OB. This will re hit. This time we're going much further left. Don't do that again. Alright, look. <laughs> Loads of room. The whole of England. Work it off the bunkers, get a bounce forward. Could have done that the first time. Never mind. Alright, two pin 37, taking a pitching wedge. Gonna play a simple, somewhat straightforward pitch to the green. Pins front right, it's all moving to the right. Ideally, you wanna leave it a little bit underneath the hole. 37 yards. Let's try and gauge this. Pitching wedge, not sandwich. Way too much. Sit down. Oh. Oh. Over the back. Bit of a struggle sometimes indoors with track men to get the numbers right. And I've got to work on those 37 yarders. Not very good. Oh, it's got 71? Jeez, better than that. Uh, we'll try again. Just try and bump this up on top of the hill and then it roll. Hit that slope. Go on. Go on. Go on. Guess I'm taking a double. Sixth shot, two putt for. Oh, geez, is it a two putt for eight? It's a triple. And that is St. George's, it will get you quickly. It'll just... I think there's like 18 card wreckers out there, to be honest with you. This course is just brutal from the work go. This is 15, isn't it? So we've got to go 244 short of the bunkers or we go for the bunkers. And it's right in the driving, driving zone. So I would suggest that we're probably going to take three wood short and leave ourselves quite a long, a long second because you must, at all costs, avoid the bunkers. You cannot go in the bunkers on this course. Come on, nice smooth three wood again. Down, down, down. Stay, stay there. Probably the best, worst shot I've hit with a three wood. Still got it out there, but with 2.34 left, I'm going with my rescue into a par four. It was into the wind as well. It's coming out of semi rough, so it's not giving me all the power. 96% power, 82%. 
spin, but that's okay. There's no trouble over those bunkers. We just want a nice flighty one into the middle of the green. Get up. Uh, how did that not get to the green? I'll take that all day. Right, this is where I've got to do better. I've got to work in these chip shops. 24 yards. What does 24 yards feel like? It's somewhere here to there. That screen is moving around. Look at it. It's definitely a little off the left. I know it's got this little bank in front of it. I think as a rule, you should try and land on the green, but I think on this occasion, front pin, we're going to have to just play it short of it and then roll in. So let's do our best. Dude, come on. There you go. Behind the pin, uphill putt. It's got to be a part. Please. Huh? Oh. Tall stats are not very good. The famous 16th. I can't remember old Thomas Bjorn had a few shots out the bunker on the right there, cost him the open. You hear that Ben Curtis one? Many moons ago. 165. <laughs> Put the pin on the right side as well. Anywhere left there will be good. Two mile an hour into the wind. Nice, I would say a nice seven iron is probably plenty. Three holes to go down the stretch. Imagine the strain you're going under here. all over it. Yeah, I'll take that one on Sunday. I would certainly. That's a nice one. Take the middle of the green. Give us a one cut. Not a 32 foot. No chance. Well, two cut for par. How's that? 17. Probably one of the hardest fairways to hit. Even if you hit it down the middle, you're still watching the ball anxiously. You're probably looking at driver off the tee here as well, just to get it down there as far as you can. 242 it reckons. I'm going to send it maybe in the 300 yard zone. So 300 yards leaves us just a wedge at 125. So, it's imperative that you find the middle. Good center hit and just send it all the way down there. Get straight at the flag. Oh, this is all about the bounce now. Where's it going to bounce? That'll do. Roll back into the center. Oh, take that. Two sixty-eight. What's going on? One five seven left. Four foot up. Eight time. Definitely an eight time. See what we can do. Now naturally, off these upslopes, the ball's just going to go firing higher. So I'm going to go seven. I'm going to go seven, and I'm going to go straight over the top of the bag. Straight the ball flat as I could possibly find. Oh, get the cut. Come on. Oh, it's going to come up short left. Short right, sorry. Just made it over. And down she comes. That's the thing. Got to get it on the right number. Can't leave yourself short, especially on 17. And again, we go through the same process. We've got to chip it up there now. There'll be a lot of this going on this week. Just chip the ball up to the hole. Make that easy par. Take the birdies when they come, really. Woo! Right to left. Let's see if we can just alter. Just 
just a little bit there. Right, 18 yards, four foot up the hill. Be aggressive, drive the ball into that upslope. Bit of check spin right to left. Good rolling. <laughs> Too much spin according to Trackman. Not much there. One pat, please, one pat, one pat. Yeah. In the last hole, nerves are jangling for the prospective winner. One good swing, one good tee shot. Miss all the bunkers again. Let's see if we can get this driver. Yeah, 290 down the right side, avoids all the tracks to the left. I don't think you'll see a ball left this week on this hole for the last few groups of guys that are really on their game. Let's see if we can get you. Reasonably straight down the right, there you go. That'll do. What have we got left? 152 again, so another eight on. Another eight on, come on. Yeah, not much trouble around the pin. Bunkers at the front, so play long. Get over the back of the hole. Get to the back of the green, sorry. Let's just make this one count. Give me something. Go. Oh, stop. Anything left of that, you're off the green. Maybe I can finish with a birdie, huh? Not a 20 foot. <laughs> Two putt for par. Other than the triple and the one bogey that I made, I'll take that. I'm quite happy with that. That, that par five will see some scores this week, I suspect, with the second shots. Can't hit it right. Should have gone much further left. Give myself an easy pitch shot. It's available on Trackman. We're down here in Stacey Bushes and Milton Keynes. Get yourself down. Come play Royal St. George's on the Trackman. It's a great experience after watching it on the open. Who's your money on this week? Leave a comment. Thanks for watching.